Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan. I'm a doctor and I'm a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So today's video is about tranexamic acid. Is it suitable for skin of color? It's the new acid on the block. It's something we're all talking about. And a lot of the big companies have started making um, products with tranexamic acid. I haven't addressed it yet on this channel, so I thought now is as good a time as any. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up. Let's dive right in. So tranexamic acid is a non-exfoliating acid. It's actually skin neutral. So it works best at about a pH of five to seven. So approximately the same pH as our skin. It is a tyrosinase inhibitor and it's an anti-inflammatory. So it helps with any um, pigmentation and skin discoloration. Now with tranexamic acid, you can use it as a monotherapy. Um, often it works better, however, as a combination. So I do love cocktail tyrosinase inhibitors for skin of color, especially for stubborn melasma. So for stubborn melasma, you may also want to include ingredients such as vitamin C, so sodium ascorbophosphate, tetrahexadecalascorbate. You want, may want to add uh, kojic dipalmitate, licorice extract. They work really well with tranexamic acid. Um, the other one I love, love, love is octadecanoic acid and of course niacinamide. I feel like niacinamide just basically should be in all your skincare routines by now. <laughs> if you don't know about niacinamide, make sure you watch my niacinamide video. Um, now to prevent or minimize risk of irritation, I wouldn't add it with other acids. Don't forget that it does tend to work best at a pH of five to seven. So when you add in acids with a lower pH than that, it will still work. It's just that we're talking about optimal uh, efficacy. In terms of percentages, you want to be using tranexamic acid at about two to 5%. That's the most effective range. Anything less than that, it's out the therapeutic index. Tranexamic acid works on the enzyme plasmin. So plasmin increases when UV hits the skin. Plasmin will then uh, create a inflammatory cascade, which ends with more pigmentation. As with all tyrosinase inhibitors, I do tend to recommend six cell cycles before you start to see um, any long-term results. The reason being anything that you see quicker than six months, anything that you see in say one or two weeks is happening because of exfoliation. You're just taking the top layer of dead skin cells away um, and so your skin looks brighter. But guess what? Your skin is a living organ. Skin cells will keep coming to the surface, pigmentation will keep coming to the surface until you calm down that cell, that melanocyte. Now, when you calm down that melanocyte, it takes about six cycles on average for new skin cells to come to the surface and that to keep happening until um, you get to a point where the cell has slowed down. And as long as there's no other triggers, i.e. no more UV radiation or inflammation from other causes, pigmentation usually um, doesn't come back again. The only reason, the only ingredient that can lead to rebound pigmentation is hydroquinone which is why I'm not a huge fan of hydroquinone, and I do also get backlash for that too. But hydroquinone is um, is fantastic while you're on it, but as soon as you come off of it, vast majority of the time it comes back and usually comes back worse than what you originally had, which is why I'm not a fan of hydroquinone for skin of color. So Dr. V, how do we use tranexamic acid? The way you use it is after you've cleansed, you've toned and you have exfoliated, you can apply the tranexamic acid either to the whole face if you have melasma everywhere or just to the spots that you have pigmentation. Just make sure you are actually getting the ingredient onto the spot. Um, after this, wait, just let it dry a little bit and then put your moisturizer on top. I just say wait even just a few seconds uh, just so that we get penetration because what I don't want is say it hasn't um, absorbed into the skin and then you are basically apply a moisturizer and you almost dilute what's on the skin uh, that's why I do like to wait a few seconds to get some absorption before you apply your moisturizer on top I do say wear moisturizer on top because I do want to create a healing environment for your skin especially at night time where people have either central heating or air conditioning on uh, drying of the skin means that your skin is not working optimally, especially the enzymes in the skin. And I want your skin to repair. It's repairing, you know, during the day as well, but at least at nighttime, there's no UV assault on the face. And so I want you to wake up, you know, feeling fresh faced. Now, people always ask me, Dr. B, how do we read the inky list? So inky is I-N-C-I, spelled I-N-C-I. That is the international nomenclature of uh, cosmetic ingredients. So basically at the back of your product, 
Um, so for example, here's the bikini pigmentation kit. This is uh, for bikini pigmentation, the skin of color. At the back, you can see the ingredients. That is the Inky Lest, I-N-C-I. So anyone that's watched 10 of my videos will know um, how to read the vast majority of their Inky List. And I call you guys Dr. V Inky Hackers. Can you do me a favor? I just want to know how many Dr. V Inky Hackers do we have? If you're a Dr. V Inky Hacker, can you write the word yes below? Because it means that, it means a few things. It means one, you are clearly scientific and you are able to understand the ingredients. Number two, you tend to have the best skin of your life. <laughs> and number three, you don't waste any money on products that aren't good for you. And number four, you tend to help those people around you. You tend to help your loved ones with their skincare. Um, and these tend to be the traits of Dr. V Inky Hackers. So I really wanna know how many of us are there out there uh, how much work do I need to do to make sure we are all Dr. V Inky Hackers and we all know exactly what we're putting on our skin. Right, so I've come up, uh, coined a term called Nave Safe. So Nave Safe is a very quick way for you to know whether or not a product is safe for skin of colour. So it stands for no alcohol. When I say alcohol, I'm talking about denatured alcohol. Um, no fragrance and no essential oils. Now, why I say this is alcohol can lead to drying of the skin. Fragrance and essential oils can lead to contact dermatitis. Now with contact dermatitis, it doesn't happen straight away often. Often it can happen after years of use um, and then suddenly your skin barrier feels damaged and you think, why I'm using the same products I've used for years. The other thing it, that it can do is be a co-sensitizer. So it can sensitize you to other ingredients in a product. Uh, so when something that you wouldn't necessarily be sensitive to, you suddenly are. For me, this doesn't make sense. Um, I know people do love their fragrance and I'm happy for you to put a fragrance, you know, I've got diffusers and here's me with like spraying this all over my body, but I just wouldn't put it onto my skin. Uh, I'd put it on my clothes, um, cause I'll see who doesn't want to smell good, but I just, uh, I want to be kind to my skin. Your skin can't talk to you, which is why we have this channel. Uh, so Nave Safe is just a really quick way for you to have a quick look at the back of the inky list. Um, is there any denatured alcohol, fragrance or essential oils? If there isn't, it's probably safe for your skin. It's just a really quick way for you to also teach the people around you how to have a quick look at their ingredients. Okay, so as always, I have always done the research for you to find out the best products for skin of color. As you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they will never be sponsored. These are all products that I would purchase for myself or for my loved ones. Right, so starting off with the first one, I love Exaglow Serum S10 from Face Theory. It's got 5% tranexamic acid in it, plus vitamin C and niacinamide, bye bye bye. So I love that one. The next one is the Inky Less Tranexamic Acid. It's got 2% tranexamic acid plus vitamin C and glycerin. I'm also happy for you to purchase that product. The next one is Notorium 5% tranexamic acid plus kojic acid, licorice root extract and niacinamide. It's gonna be really good for any pigmentation because it's also got kojic acid and licorice root in it too. Um, so definitely I would recommend that one. And the last one for all our family in India is Be Minimalist 3% tranexamic acid plus HPA. I love it, it is nave safe, so please do buy. Right, I really hope I have gone through everything you need to know when it comes to tranexamic acid. If you've got any more questions, don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one hour at the launch of every single video. So please do write your questions down below. I'm more than happy to help. Um, and I always say start cheap, okay? So start with your tranexamic acid first. If you're seeing great results with that, then brilliant. If you haven't seen results with that after three to six months, then you can upgrade to our facial pigmentation kit. Here is the facial pigmentation kit for skin of color. Um, and at the back, we you can see the inky list. There's about eight to 10 tyrosinase inhibitors and um, antioxidants in it. All the dark circles kit, uh, depending on obviously where your pigmentation is. We've re recently launched the bikini pigmentation kit. The body pigmentation kit comes out in the next week. So hopefully I've covered basically all the pigmentation issues and areas that affect our skin of color family. These kits have been designed for skin of color, but they are expensive. Uh, and I always, always say start cheap. So start with your tranexamic acid or your alpha arbutin from the ordinary or your niacinamide. Start there. If you're seeing great results with that and your SPF 50, great. No need to do anything else. 
Um, this is only if you have stubborn pigmentation and you, you know, you want the next stage up, but you don't want to go straight to professional grade treatment. Right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to write down below all any other videos you want me to make for you. Um, and I will do my absolute best. I'm really sorry. Um, I haven't, I've been doing one video a week for you for the last few weeks. I've been working on a top secret project, which I still can't talk about yet. Um, and that has basically taken up all my time. Um, but moving forward, I've finished with that now. So I'm going to go back to my three videos a week. I'm going to attempt to do Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, because I think those are the most popular days that you guys are free and want to watch. And, um, I really hope I can cover all your concerns. Don't forget to download your free guide. Link is down below. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Dr. Mita Ratan, and Instagram, uh, Skincare by Dr. V, and obviously on YouTube too. Thank you very much. Bye.